So the most important part of bathing your dog is brushing them. Regardless of what kind of texture they have, the brushing is the most important. So this dog is being brushed with an undercoat rake, but there are all kinds of different brushes. The best way to find out what brush works for your dog is to try them. We have all of these brushes in our stations, but lots of brushes are available to you for use at any time. As you can see, he's not the biggest fan, but he is very, very patient. Next, you'll want to wet your dog. The temperature of the water is the most important part. You want to make sure it's tepid, but not hot. Dog's skin is very thin and therefore very sensitive. Usually the biggest issue with drying out your dog's skin is using too hot of water. Again, very patient, Max. When you bathe your dog, make sure you're using <laughs> a high quality pet shampoo. Remember, your dog's skin is the largest organ on their body, so whatever you put on their coat and on their skin will be absorbed into their system. We use Earth Bath products in our store. They're a nice natural product. They lather very, very well, and they are great cleaning. They have lots of varieties available to you for dogs with sensitive skin or itchy skin or smelly dogs too and all of them are up for sale at the store. Make sure you thoroughly work the shampoo into your dog's coat and let them shake all over you as necessary. Shampoo should be really well rinsed because this is one of, an, one of the other really big problems in washing your dog is not rinsing your shampoo out enough and again you can dry out their skin and cause them to be itchy if you don't do this well. Face soap is tearless. It's very, very mild. It's probably a dog's least favorite part. I use a washcloth so that I don't have to spray Max in the face with the hose because he's really not a fan of that, as most dogs aren't. But again, tearless face soap, right on the face, makes them very uncomfortable. Oh yes, I know, I'm a terrible mom. And to rinse it, usually it's just enough to get your washcloth nice and soaking wet and then wring it over their face. Since tearless face soap is so mild, uh, it rinses out really clean and really easy. We use chamois to dry. Chamois are amazing. They soak all the water out of the dog's coat. They'll actually work like a sponge. As they get wet, you just wring them out and keep drying your dog. Uh, they, they actually work better once they are a little wet, but chamois first always and uh, save yourself a ton of time with drying. Once you're done with the chamois, you can switch over to towels. Uh, for obvious reasons, the more water you get out of your dog's coat, the better. If you're doing this at home, this means less water on your walls and furniture. If you're doing it here, it means less time with our high pressure dryers. So next step is ear cleaning. We use an alcohol free ear cleaner. I find the best and least uncomfortable way to do this is by getting a couple of cotton balls wet with the ear cleaner and just reaching in and wiping as far as you can reach with the cotton ball. Again, this is a part of the process Max isn't a huge fan of, but he's a good boy, so he's gonna let me do it. Easy as that. Now on to the blow dryer. The dryers here are low heat, high pressure, so they're designed to blast the water out of the coat. The closer you stay, the faster they work. You'll see a nice little mist of air blowing out of the dog's coat and probably hair too. Those are all really good things because that's all hair and water you don't have to take home with you. This is a process that can take a really long time depending on your dog, but we always say just get them as dry as they'll tolerate and switch to towels at the end. And voila, nice, clean, mostly dry, slightly upset dog. The end.